Now that Mez Fireball is officially nerfed, I need you guys to start thinking bigger than how you guys are thinking right now. The days of being able to cheese the game with pacify, mess fire, and some sort of heal are long gone, which means that dungeons and more difficult encounters in the game are going to be, well, a lot more difficult. It's a beautiful thing that they've done because you cannot have a mechanic in the game that essentially takes you to end game as soon as you are like level 10 to 15. <laughs> okay, it just doesn't make sense. It's a super janky busted mechanic. And I'm so excited for it because, especially with the changes that are coming to the spell system, magic system, future abilities, and combat overall on the November 5th update, this is going to provide us some unique opportunities to really play the game as intended. And as class systems or classes continue to evolve as they implement changes to the armor and we start to define how our class or the class that we choose to play is going to be played, it's really going to set us up for some great things. Now, Mez Fire is nerfed. So with that being said, it's going to be a tremendous, tremendous requirement to make sure that you understand how the new mechanics are going to work in the game. It's going to be incredibly important that you understand how weapon mechanics work, how block mechanics work, and how making sure that you understand how the subtleties and the intricacies in combat work so you can keep yourself alive. With the addition of the new healing spells, plus stamina regen, and things of that nature, it should make it a bit simpler to navigate through the open world. But paying attention to how difficult creatures actually are, and moving through the dungeons with care, is going to be incredibly important. Now the damage ticks effectively wake up the target, whether they're pacified or mez, means that you no longer can just sit back in comfort while your target dies meaning that you are going to have to be incredibly in tune with what is happening around you in your surroundings or you will die a lot. Now, I'm still curious to see if they're going to be introducing new mechanics, obviously, that we could break the game with, but we're going to have to wait and see uh, on November 5th when everything comes alive. But all in all, I think this is a massive step in the right direction, but I wanted to give you guys a courtesy heads up so you guys can start preparing now for what's getting ready to happen to our beloved cheese spell combo. But with that being said, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. If you guys haven't picked up your copy of PAX Day yet, you guys can do so in the description box below. If you guys are looking for the ultimate gaming community to join, uh, you guys can look no further than the unhinged.gg community. Now, for those of you Ashes of Creation player, uh, there are some guys in our community that are putting together an Ashes of Creation uh, crew. Uh, I personally am not one of them. I won't be playing Ashes, but if you guys are looking for that, you guys can find that in our community as well. But with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, this is your boy, Damone, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.